Hey everybody, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I thought I'd come out and make a video today. It's been a little bit since I've done one. I, uh, I've been mucking around with my indoor endeavors. Um, a little more tricky than outdoors, I find. Uh, just a lot, whole, whole lot of different things going on there. Um, I've kind of been in a little of a tailspin here the last, <laughs> the last few weeks. <clears throat> I, uh, I had my 60th birthday and when I went to work on my 60th birthday, my, my boss of 13 years calls me upstairs and uh, they're looking all serious. I'm thinking, oh man, I've, I must have buggered something up or we got a leak I didn't take. I, I don't know. So I'm thinking something like that, right? <laughs> so he says, bro, I hate to tell you, <laughs> but your job just ended. So uh, that was that. So. Uh, yeah, I was kind of in a little, <laughs> like, whoa, I feel dizzy, you know, it's been a long time there, 13 years. So anyway, I decided what I'm going to do is uh, psh, I'm going to go get another job, <laughs> but <laughs> of course, but I'm going to do something fun. I don't even care about the money anymore. I just don't give a doggone. I want to have some fun. Uh, I have five years left to work. I want to make them really, really enjoyable. So uh, anyway. I may even have a little more time out here. Who knows? So I was out here today uh, coming out and my intention was to uh, bring out more of my buckets and my reservoirs and kind of get it up, uh, you know, all set up for spring. And I realized I got a heck of a mess out here <laughs> since my last time out here. I didn't do anything clean up. So today I guess I, I'm going to be cleaning up. <clears throat> but before I do that, I wanted to show you, uh, you know, I made uh, a video oh, last year sometime. And uh, in that video, I was saying that uh, I, I, I didn't know of any two types of um, vegetables that you could grow together hydroponically, only because uh, my limited knowledge at the time, I didn't realize uh, that there were a lot of plants that have uh, about the same nutrient requirements, or at least, you know, you can run them the same. So uh, trying to find out, and I said I'd let you know if, if I found any, so through all this searching, I found this really, really, really awesome list. Let me give you a little quick look there. I, you may not even be able to see that, but anyway, get away. <laughs> get away. <laughs> so anyway, and it's all vegetables from artichokes to watercress. X, Y, and Z is missing. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, uh, I've been looking on this, and a lot of it seems really, really, really right. Some of them seem like, wow, staggeringly high. So um, if anybody's interested in this list, um, PM me with your email address or a way that I can send you the file. I'll be happy to do that because there's a lot of really good stuff in here. Now I've got one I kind of marked up, but like, say, beans, for instance, they, they prefer a pH of 6, and your parts per million, uh, 1,400 to 2,800. 2800 seems high to me, but I have made mistakes before and run that on plants and it seemed to go good. Uh, capsicum, like your peppers, 1260 to 1540 that, uh, with a pH of 6 to 6.5. That's what I was running mine last year and that seemed to work really good. Now eggplant, 1750 to 2450, woo! I don't know, I've never grown eggplant, but I'm doing it this year and I'm going to grow it over in that corner. I'll, I'll show you that when I get it cleaned up. Um, and lettuce. 560 to 840. Now that's what I'd been running it at and, and had really wonderful results. I don't see any going any higher. Uh, pok choy, 1050 to 1400. Now I think that's dead on because when I was doing in the house, it was right within those ranges uh, on, on my NFT that I showed you on my last video. Tomatoes, 1400 to 3500. Personally, I've never run my tomatoes over uh, 1250, 13. So uh, I'll try this this year and we'll see. But uh, anyway, if anyone's interested in this list, um, private message me or uh, so that you can send me your email so that I have a, a, an easy way of sending this file back to you. It's, it's a Word file. Uh, I'll make a PDF for guys with Mac. I, have a, I get a Mac. But uh, anyway, so I thought that was kind of interesting and I, and I remember before that I, I said I'd share that with you if I found out. So <laughs> I was just checking out some of the, the trophies from last year, eh? <laughs> These were just such great roosts. Uh, it's just kind of getting me really, really, really excited to get going again. So anyway, uh, this frame here, 
that you see right here. This is going to be a Krotke style setup, just like you've seen Bobby do, MHP Gardener. <clears throat> so I'm going to try that here. Uh, it may be pak choy or lettuce, but my NFT will come out over here. Eggplant here, peppers here, I think tomatoes back here, cukes over here, beans over there. And I got to throw some new stuff in the mix too. I, I just don't know what. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you all that in a minute here where, where I'm going to have these guys set up. But <clears throat> uh, I wanted to show you too this doggone pepper plant. Now I got it inside. Um, I won't take you in there because it, <laughs> it's just so noisy. But anyway, I'm going to grab that plant and bring it out and let you check these leaves out. It's a sweet cayenne pepper. And I've, I've, I've heard of this happening. I've never experienced it myself. So uh, I'm going to show you what this stuff looks like. And uh, I'm sure somebody out there knows exactly what it is, what it's... Now, I've heard a couple of things that it may be, but anyway, I'll show you that in, in uh, just a second here. And, uh, yeah, then I'll, then I'll get this mess cleaned up. <laughs> at least we'll get a look at her when she's cleaned up. All right, guys. All right, guys. Here's that little pepper plant. Now, admittedly, this has been, this has been going indoors. And... Uh, I've had it under uh, uh, compact fluorescent and part, partly time LEDs. Uh, I was going to show you my whole LED setup, but I've had some problem with, <coughs> with some of the ballast burning out. So anyway, I'd, uh, I'm getting those all corrected. But anyway, I've had these under the fluorescent, or, you know, the compact fluorescent. It's a big 125 watt bulb. Anyway, I've had these under there and, uh, you know, they, they were they were doing spectacular under the LEDs until they failed. I gotta tell you, they were just, man. Since that happened, they just kind of dropped down under the, other, uh, uh, under the fluorescent lights. But anyway, what's happened? Hmm. I'm in a greenhouse, I gotta maintain hydration, guys. So on the underside of these leaves, what you see, it almost looks like crystals growing and it's like, material puffed out of the leaves and uh, it looks horrible it looks painful <laughs> anyway I've looked it up <clears throat> and some some people have said that it's a, a calcium deficiency and other people have called it edema now I don't know whether edema is caused from a calcium deficiency or if it's that at all and I've had some now these have just seem to have gone away I've read some people say don't sweat it just let them do it uh, they've had some do it and it goes away and I've read some reports that it just keeps on doing it. Now, I'll grab the camera so you can get a, get a really good look at what I'm talking about here. <clears throat> now you see, coming in close on these, you see that darn stuff? And all of the leaves are just dimpled. Now, I looked for bugs of every kind I could think of or try to find. Look at that one. That one's just horrible. Now, I have two more in there that are experiencing the same thing. But it's a shame because these things are just starting to branch out and I'm getting this pitting in the leaves or it's, it's like stuff's exploding. So, man, yeah, I, I'm just really at, uh, at a loss as to what the heck it could be. So there you have it, guys. Uh, that's my pepper problem. I know it's a common problem. I've seen photographs on it on the internet, you know, when I've done searches on this, but doggone it, nobody's really got any definitive answers. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm looking for. Now, I should tell you, this is grown in Coco Choir, okay? And uh, so it's, it's, it's a hydroponic plant. It's just grown in inert media, and I'm, I'm hand watering it. Um, and I'm using those new nutrients that I got on it, which are spectacular. The pak choy was Man, just absolutely amazing. Um, even some of my house plants, I'm putting it on. They're looking great, so it's great fertilizer. Um, anyway, I would appreciate if anybody has got some answers about this. Let me know, because, uh, you know, if I'm flogging a dead horse here, I'd just as soon tear her on up and get something else started. If not, you know, let me know. I'll, I'll let her go anyway, just, just out of the sake of curiosity. So anyway, okay, I guess I got a mess to clean up. All right. Man, I'm a messy guy. Oh. Well, <clears throat> guys, I've got her picked up, I've got her swept up, and I got her ready to go for next year. <laughs> 
So, yeah, I worked up quite a sweat. Jeez! Uh, that's my neighbor Donnie down the road. He's into model rockets. He's getting a little bit low. He's getting good, though, huh? <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, guys, look, that's all I got. So, we'll see you all later. And until next time, be good to each other, guys. Be good to each other. Above all things, be good to each other. Uvidíme se později. Buďte na sebe hodní, šikni.